Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing the Eilish by Billie Eilish perfume as well as Marc Jacobs Daisy Love and I'm going to be starting off with the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love. I love the design of the bottle like before even smelling the scent you kind of have an idea of what possibly what it's gonna smell like. This ooze is girly like come on now. So while it dries down like immediately like you get this sweet and sweet a little bit of woody perhaps but like the first thing you're gonna get is sweet but it's not like overly sweet it's just like super girly sweet <laughs> and it's not gourmand sweet either it's just sweet floral that's what i should say the sweet floral kind of scent floral daisy i think this is a really nice scent i would probably pull for this like in spring and uh, in spring yeah this is giving like spring vibes let me tell you the accords so the accords are fruity musk floral aromatic woody sweet powdery marine herbal green and the top notes is just cloudberry i have no idea what cloudberry is if somebody knows just drop it down in comments below let me know clue me in um the middle note of course is daisy and the base notes are cashmere musk and driftwood so like i said it's like a super floral but also there's a little wood in there so that usually creates a nice balance if you're into floral fragrances like me this is one that you can add to your collection one thing i did note i haven't had this for very long but one thing i have noticed is that it doesn't last very long but i mean that's fine i could live with that but the scent itself is really nice it's a beautiful feminine scent and i recommend this one if i'm being honest it's not one that has to be at the top of your list but it's one that you could add to your collection for variety so yeah it, it wouldn't necessarily be like a top 10 or a top 5 but it's something that you could pull for like on a casual day run um this is not a night fragrance this is definitely not beast mode this is probably one that i would wait for a sale for because i wouldn't want to pay like full price for it like it's nice but like it doesn't last that's my issue it does not last but the scent profile of it is good but it just doesn't last so i wouldn't want to pay top dollar for it I, if you guys know any of that probably lasts a bit longer like drop it in the comments below and i'll check it out i love the fragrance of this but longevity it's giving like body mist like not in terms of the scent profile but in terms of how quickly the scent just goes away. Like I'm not at the stage yet where I'm bringing my fragrances out to reapply. So if I'm gonna be out for a few hours, I'm gonna stay smelling good, you know what I mean? Another reason why I'd wait for a sale for this fragrance is because while it smells very good, like there's no uniqueness to it. It just smells like a nice, regular, run-of-the-mill floral scent. Next up, we have the Alish by Billie Alish. I'll be using a travel size to do the review. I absolutely love the shape of the bottle of the perfume and I'll just link that here or here or here or here somewhere so that you could see and appreciate that. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Let's see what it smells like. This fragrance is supposed to be like an amber vanilla kind of fragrance and a lot of people did say that they got like a metallic scent in the beginning of this fragrance and i definitely get that slightly minty slightly metallic but it's a unique combination like it's not too strong and it's not very off-putting but let me tell you the notes that are in the fragrance so the notes are the top notes are sugar red berries and mandarin and the middle notes are vanilla cacao spicy notes rose the base notes are tonka bean amber musk woody notes so let me just tell you right off the bat this is not a beast mode fragrance this is just a nice 
this is a fragrance that I would wear probably um, it's not all the way daytime but I would wear this fragrance it's definitely it's not all the way daytime it's not all the way nighttime I think it's just a this is a fragrance that you pull for for a certain kind of feeling and a certain kind of mood and I would say I would probably wear this in the fall and in the winter it's not really a winter fragrance but because of the spicy notes I could see this doing very well in the holidays like for Christmas you know um, let me tell the accords that are in it so the accords are vanilla sweet warm spicy cacao amber powdery my favorite thing about this fragrance is the dry down when it dries down it just smells like a sweet kind of like cocoa powder and I really really love that like I'm not a gourmand girl but this isn't like foody sweet it's just like I don't know what to tell you but it's a nice if you're into vanilla fragrances you'll love this that night that nice mixture of the vanilla the most the cocoa powder on the dry down it's just is nice also another thing to know this fragrance will give you about three to four hours and i think that's pretty decent for the price that you pay so if you like the vanilla amber profile this is one that you could add to your list okay so i also had the armani c so i'm gonna review that as well let me spray And this fragrance, for some reason, like it's a fruity floral fragrance, right? But for some reason, like I've been smelling it for a while now, but for some reason, like I had to like grow into it. It's just like uh, if you're somebody that loves a fragrance that's uh, like more of like a skin scent, uh, clean girly aesthetic, like sweet but not overpowering, I think you'll really enjoy this sea i think it's so sweet and so subtle let me tell you the notes that are in there so the top notes are pear black currant pink pepper grapefruit that's interesting like i definitely get the pear and the black currant in the opening i got a little bit of the grapefruit so to be honest the middle notes are pineapple rose jasmine Heliotrope and the base notes are vanilla, cedar, amber, and patchouli. This is given spring. This is given spring. This is given daytime. It's just a nice, chill, quiet, beautiful fragrance. It's just like that pretty, quiet girl that doesn't like attention. That's what this sea reminds me of. I have this size, and I'm gonna have to spend some time with this fragrance and try to appreciate it some more let's, let's see how it smells on my hand the accords are fruity sweet fruity sweet woody vanilla rose soft spicy floral fresh powdery citrus it's it's a really nice fragrance you do get all of that again this is for you if uh, if you didn't like the strong black current in the original version, then you'll definitely love this one because it's not as strong. By the way, I'm not sure if I said it before, but if I didn't say it, this is the C Passionet. So this is the flanker to the original C. Also, there's another flanker that is right up my alley the sea flora Whew. when i smell that it immediately smells to me like the carolina herrera good girl blush so and y'all already know how i feel about that so i love that so i didn't get it because i already have something that was so close to it like when i don't like it, it just smells exactly the same way to me well not exactly but like it was so close but so if you don't have the carolina herrera good girl blush yet and you want something that's either you want that or something similar i think you should smell that one as well as the sea floral and then you can decide because 
it's so pretty it's so girly it's so nice it's so super floral and floral me so yeah the passion it it's like nice overall but for me it truly comes through on the dry down that vanilla and the wood mm. the more i smell the sea the more i like it let's see if this is gonna get up to full size that's that this was supposed to be a solo dollar review but it turned up being three i'll catch you in the next one